This is the basic installation and operation training video for the Buck Scientific Model HC404 Total Petroleum Hydrocarbon and Oil and Grease Hydrocarbon Analyzer. When you receive your instrument from Buck Scientific, open the box and unpack the instrument and all the parts and supplies. You will have a power cord and it is recommended to purchase infrared quartz cuvettes and sealed standards in Freon or carbon tetrachloride to save time and money. This is the basic model HC404 hydrocarbon analyzer which will include a standard 10 millimeter or 1 centimeter cuvette holder, a 110 or 220 volt power cord, and optional supplies are the 404-11 EPA reference oil, the 1i10 cuvettes, which is an infrared quartz specifically suited for hydrocarbon analysis. The 404-12 sealed Freon calibration standards, which are also available in carbon tetrachloride. And it is recommended that a good infrared grade of Freon 113 or carbon tetrachloride be used for the TPH and oil and grease measurements. To prepare the instrument for making a TPH or oil and grease measurement, connect the power cord from the back of the instrument to your electrical wall socket. Turn the instrument on and let warm up for at least 15 minutes to reach stability. Plug the end of the electrical cable into your wall socket and the other end goes into the back of the HC404 analyzer. The power switch here turns the system on. Open the door to perform any analysis and set the mode switch in the absorbance mode to gauge the stability of the instrument. After 15 minutes we can perform our electronic calibration and then perform some concentration calibrations to make some sample analyses. With a new installation, it is important to perform an electronic calibration to make sure the response of the detector and the source are linear. After this is done, it is only required to make analytical calibrations with Freon or carbon tetrachloride based standards prior to testing actual samples. The procedure for performing the electronic calibration is well documented in the HC404 manual and the little one page mini guide included with each instrument. Please refer to this for the exact step-by-step -step procedure to make the electronic calibration of your HC-404. Make sure the optical path of the instrument is clear, the mode switch is in the absorbance mode, and then using the zero absorbance 100% T knobs both the coarse and fine knobs make adjustments to the display so that it reads zero absorbance. Turn the mode knob to percent T and if the display does not show exactly 100.0 percent T Use the percent T calibration knob to 
to adjust it so it reads exactly 100.0% T and zero absorbance. With the mode knob in the percent T position, block the beam with a floppy disk or a business card. And if the display does not read 0.0% zero, zero zero T, use the 0% T knob to make any adjustments. Please note there are locking rings to secure the settings so that they will not be disturbed when making adjustments. Recheck the 100% absorbance and the zero absorbance and the system is ready for analytical calibration with standards. When preparing to do analyses with the HC404 hydrocarbon analyzer, you must be sure that you're using infrared quartz cuvette cells. These are noted with a little eye in the upper corner of the top of the cuvette. Freon 113 solvent should be used and it should be infrared grade for the best accuracy and sensitivity. Carbon tetrachloride and perchloroethylene may also be used. When preparing samples and standards, avoid touching the surfaces of the cells or using cloth or paper cleaning materials as these will leave hydrocarbon residues that will easily be detected by the system. As previously described, you may either prepare your own standards with fresh Freon and TPH daily or use the Buck Series 404-12 Seal TPH calibration standards. Please note that your results may vary if your Freon is a different grade from that used to prepare the sealed standards. This is easily compensated for by just doing a blank correction. The simplest procedure for obtaining data off the HC404 hydrocarbon analyzer is just to take the raw absorbance data and insert that data into a linear regression program such as Excel or Chart Wizard or a calculator based program to create a calibration curve and then interpolate your sample relative to that calibration curve. Using the Buck Scientific 404-12 sealed calibration standards, we can put the blank cuvette in the holder while in the absorbance mode and set a zero absorbance on the display using the coarse and fine adjustments. Afterwards, we can put in our standards and just record the absorbances. For example, this is a 250 part per million standard. This is a 50 part per million standard giving an absorbance of 0 0.125 and our 10 part per million standard giving an absorbance of 0 0.025 by creating a calibration curve with these standard absorbances 
The sample cuvette can be inserted in the holder, the absorbance read on the display, and the parts per million calculated based on that value. It is recommended to check your blank every so often, maybe every 20 sample readings, or once an hour to make sure that you have a zero absorbance signal for your blank. The internal A to D converter can be used to calculate the concentration of a sample compared to several standards and read out in parts per million directly. Again, these procedures are detailed in the complete HC404 manual and the one-page mini guide included with each system. To get direct part per million readout from the HC404, set the mode switch to concentration 1x if you are doing work in the 10 to 250 part per million range. The concentration times 0.01 is used to expand the scale for concentrations below the 10 or 20 part per million level. Insert the blank cuvette into the holder. And adjust it to read zero parts per million with the coarse and find adjustments. At this point, we can put in one of our high standards for calibration and using the concentration calibration knob set this value to our standard which is 250 parts per million The system is calibrated for high-level analyses, and we can now insert our samples or a check standard and verify the concentration. This happens to be a mid-level standard that's 55 parts per million, so we can see we have good recovery of our standard. As before, you want to periodically check your blank to make sure you're reading zero parts per million. To do low level analyses, use a low standard. In this case, we have one that is 10 parts per million. And we can use the decimal knob and the 1x expansion to set our standard with one or two decimal places of resolution. After the low standard and the blank are set, We can proceed to analyze samples. Please be aware that in the 10x mode, your sensitivity is much higher, and you may see some noise in the last decimal place of your reading. This is normal. This concludes the basic setup and operation for the Buck Scientific Model 8C404